I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I was literally about to post a video for tomorrow, but I seen this news and I guess I had to do a video on it. The transfer window hasn't even started yet. The January transfer window hasn't even started yet, but it's already silly season. We're seeing some crazy rumors. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you've seen the title of the video. You've seen the thumbnail. Dominic Selenki to Arsenal. Let me know what you think as I cue the intro. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing today? Uh, back again on Eagle Talks Football. Hopefully, you guys hit that like button, subscribe button, all of that, all of that. Let's get this show started. Um, basically, it is understood that Mikel Arteta will push for Dominic Solanke. Yes, that is Bournemouth, former Chelsea and Liverpool player Dominic Solanke, uh, available. Uh, sorry. Dominic Solanke, uh, push for Dominic Solanke's arrival if an agreement for Ivan Tony can't be reached in January. Big wigs at the Emirates uh, have been impressed with the 26-year-old hard's working display at the South Coast and believe that he can still improve. Interesting turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. As I was about to go to sleep, and I just seen this and I was like, yo, I need to show you guys what's going on. So reports are not only are Arsenal potentially could be out on the Ivan Tony stuff. There I'm gonna be talking about I'm gonna be talking about a bunch of these stories that are popping up right now. So just to give you guys a quick little synopsis of what's going on. So there's obviously links to uh, to Aussie men in January. That is, of course, if you don't push for a big striker in 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 a story Ozyman in the summer. That's of course if you don't push for a big striker in the in January. Uh, nothing has changed with Chelsea and the Ivan Tony situation. They're obviously waiting for Nkunku to come back. This was back in November where they spoke about Chelsea will not push for Ivan Tony, and primarily because he wants the move to Arsenal, as he has already stated that he wants to move to Arsenal. And now we are seeing this report coming out about Dominic Solanke. Now, I don't know how reliable this guy is. I've not seen him ever break any major stories, ever, any major news, never really heard of this guy. So we're going to have to see the credibility of Alex Wood. But my question to you guys is, what is your, what is your opinion on Dominic Solanke? Personally, for me, the 26-year-old has been performing well for Bournemouth, but he's not really an upgrade on Gabriel Jesus at all. He's more of... Maybe maybe an upgrade on Eddie and Ketia. That's maybe what we're looking for. I don't think he's an upgrade at all on Gabriel Jesus. It's actually somewhat of a downgrade. Maybe somebody just offers us something different. Is that what we're looking for? He currently has nine goals and one assist in the Premier League for Bournemouth. Last season, he got six goals and seven assists in 33 games in the Premier League. So... We're gonna have to wait and see what happens there. At this moment in time, this is my this is my whole take on the Dominic Solanke thing. Extremely underwhelming. Extremely underwhelming. Doesn't solve all our problems. Personally, for me, what it would be is potentially an Eddie and Ketia upgrade. He's nothing more than that. This is not what we're looking for. Our options at that point would literally be Eddie and Ketia, Kai Havertz, Jesus, and Dominic Solanke. It don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. If we were to miss out on Ivan Tony, is Dominic Solanke an alternative? In my opinion, hell no. Hell no. This does not make any sense. I don't know why we'd be doing this. Um, what is the plan? What is Mikel Arteta looking to do? Is he looking to move uh, Eddie and Ketia in the January window? Could that be the reason why he might be doing this? Because Reports have come out that, according to reports um, that I've seen now, Arsenal tweet this out. So let me just show you guys what now Arsenal tweeted out. So according to reports, Arsenal are preparing to let Eddie and Ketia leave in January, but only if an offer of 40 million valuation is met. Fulham, Brentford, West Ham are all keen on the striker, and which could help Arsenal 
drive up the price. Mikhail Arteta wants a replacement in first. And if Eddie Nketiah does end up leaving the club next month. So let's be honest. Eddie Nketiah goes to West Ham. We kind of owe them. <laughs> Declan Rice for 105 million was cheap. We owe them on an extra 25, but we're not going to give them Eddie and Kitia for free, are we? Uh, Bournemouth. If they give us Dominic Salanki, that could be the Eddie and Kitia. Eddie and Kitia could go the other way. Is is Dominic Salanki that much better than Eddie and Kitia? I would say he is. Um, Fulham. If Fulham want to pay money, why not? But Last time we did a transfer with Fulham, we gave them Cedric on loan and we gave them Leno for basically pennies on the dollar. Um, and then Brentford. If Brentford won Eddie and Ketia, we should at least try to get Ivan Tony back in return. That is my honest opinion on that whole situation. But yeah, let's 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 now let's now look at um is there any other major news? Because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, at this moment in time, I have not seen too many too many articles or things going around with Arsenal and, and, and transfer news. The main thing that I've been seeing is the Dominic Selenke stuff and uh, Victor Ozyman stuff. I'm going to do a designated video on Victor Ozyman and Ivan Tony, but right now I need to know what you guys think. Dominic Selenke to Arsenal, the 26-year-old striker who, who formerly played for Chelsea and Liverpool is in the Premier League, has not ever had a season where he scored over 10 Premier League goals. This is going to be his first season where he does that. He, of course, scored yesterday against Luton before the game got suspended and now abandoned, and it's now going to be restarted today. So he has an opportunity to to, to do well today. But honestly, just so extremely underwhelmed. I don't think it's the signing that we need. I don't think it's the player that we need. I don't think this is the level raiser that we're looking for. He does not all he does is potentially give us an upgrade on Eddie and Ketia. That is really it. Doesn't really give me anything more than that. Doesn't really give me anything more than that. I don't I don't know what you guys think, but hey, it's extremely underwhelming. I can see that he could potentially bring some things to the table. Let's see what his RV ref says. Let's see. Dominic Solanke. Or the right. maybe maybe he has some good underlining numbers or something. The analytics might say even that he's a good ball per, uh, carrier, successful tycons touches in the penalty area, defensive work rate. Nothing else that really stands out for me right now that I can see. Don't see anything that really stands out. I really don't know what we're looking at him for. I really don't get it. I really don't get why we would be going out of our way to get Ivan Tony as a potential alternative to, uh, I mean, Dominic Solanke to a, as a potential alternative to Ivan Tony. I think Oli Watkins would be a better alternative. Yes, Oli Watkins is uh, at Aston Villa and he's performing so well right now that they would probably want to keep him and they might even have a higher price tag for him. But surely you'd rather try a thing with Ollie Watkins then go for Dominic Solanke. But yeah, that's just me. That's it for today, guys. I'm going to post this now for you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that comment, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Personally, for me, I don't look at Dominic Solanke as a realistic option for Arsenal. But hey, what do I know? Mikel Arteta and the, boy, and, and the guy Edu have, have gotten us this far. I would have never signed Kai Havertz. He's starting to look better than, than I thought he would. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you would take Dominic Solanke at Arsenal in the case that we don't get Ivan Tony. And check out my Twitter and my TikTok. Uh, and of course, if you haven't already subscribed to Ego Talks Football, please do. I'll be live tomorrow. I'll be live today, actually, after the uh, Brighton game. And of course, for Vibes from the Six, discussing all the games that just took place over the weekend. I'm out, people. Love for the love. Peace.